In this video, we're going to be looking at port security. Port security. With port security, you have two options. You've got maximum, which is a maximum number of MAC addresses allowed on that particular port. And you have MAC address, where you assign particular MAC addresses allowed on that port. You have another two options for MAC address. Statically assign each MAC address yourself or use something called sticky which is where it learns the MAC address of the devices currently attached to that port. Now you also have something called violations which is how the switch will react when a MAC address breaks the rules that you've set. These are protect, restrict and shut down. Protect will drop all data flow until the correct MAC address is connected but you will get no notification that any violation has occurred. Restrict is the same as protect, but you will get a message and also counters will increase every time a violation occurs and shutdown will disable the interface altogether. So let's get started by opening the switch. We'll type enable, just put in my password. Configure terminal. Interface fast ethernet 01, this is the port we'll be using. Switch port mode access. This turns the port into an access port. Switch port port security. This turns on port security. Now if we type switch port port security question mark, you'll see our two options, MAC address, maximum and violation. If we type switch port, port security, maximum question mark, you can see that you can set a number of MAC addresses allowed, but we're going to set a MAC address. So if we type switch port, port security, MAC address, question mark, you see we have two options here. HHH is statically assigning each MAC address and sticky, which will learn the MAC addresses of all the currently attached devices. So we'll type switch port, port security, MAC address. Now, if you were going to do a sticky, you would just type sticky here and that would be it. But we want to see if we can cause violations. So we're going to type a random MAC address. Switch port, port security, MAC address. And I'm going to do all zeros. Now we've set the MAC address, we need to set a violation. If we type switch port, port security violation, question mark, we see our three options. We want to see the violation, so I'm going to use restrict. Switch port, port security, violation, restrict. So that's all configured. I'm going to type exit. Now I'm going to plug in a PC to this port and see if I can cause a violation. You can see the port go up. Then you'll see the violation occurred. This will keep happening, so I'll unplug. If we type show port security, we can see each interface and the violation count. We can also take this one step further and type show port security interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 for more details. That's it for port security. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.